fact he's on his toes um, but he's the one one for me here and say yeah I'm with you uh, yeah, I go uh, Gray Gatsby solo and Umgio 6102 hmm. okay I'd put, I'd, we give Michelle a bit more of a chance than you assuming he's over that that stone bruise and trade storm as well we haven't really spoken about him but he's don't know if he's going to get enough pace in this race yeah. and 12th as well um probably better horse than he was last year but yeah he's going to need them to go fast isn't he for andrea razzini to pick them up uh, late on so let's have you down here let's see if we can hear from uh, terry who's up there with the best view in the house well the great gadsby just a little reluctant to move in at the moment so the stalls handlers grouping around the Grey Gatsby, the international favourite, but he's got his four legs locked in front and he doesn't want to know a great deal about the starting stalls. Meanwhile, So Lu is moving up into the line. Uh, still working and So Lu came away, so they haven't placed him in yet. Looking a little anxious as the Grey Gadsby just doesn't want to know about things. Not a good sign that the blindfold is out. So the so blindfold, blindfold out, out now for the Grey Gadsby. Gadsby. And, and Farage, Farage too, too proving, proving to be a little stubborn. stubborn. So, so another, another spin, spin around, around the merry-go-round for, for the Grey Gadsby. Gadsby. More of the stalls handlers move in. So the reserves off the bench. And it just about does the trick. One more shove might do it. The blind falls off and the gates are snapped shut. So Solo should go up to the outside. They look ready to run. Six million dollars coming up. Gates are back and they're racing in the Dubai turf and Trade Storm was slow to move. Um, Guillaume to the inside, not showing a great deal of pace. Euro Charlene won the hop from the number one gate and led onto the course proper. The Mario second, Farage third and Earnshaw on the inside goes to fourth. A length away, Clado Sierra, closer tonight than she was in the Phillies and Mares races. Solo a half length away on the outside. A length and a half to the Grey Gatsby, a length and a half to Umgio, who came away from the fence on the outside of Monsieur Wish. And Trade Storm is two lengths back at the tail of the field as they leave a quarter behind in 26.1. Euro Charlene takes them down the back of the track. Farage is only a neck away on the outside and they're going to test their motors now as they run towards the back bend and go past the 1,000 metres peg. Lamario's a length and a half away running third. Earnshaw a neck away fourth on the rail. A length and a half to so low on the outside of Clado Sierra, the French together. Then one to the Grey Gatsby, followed by um, Guillaume Shawish and Trade Storm whipped them in as they're down the side of the track coming towards the 600 metres peg and Euro Charlene leads the way, only narrowly over Farage on the outside Earnshaw the fence, Lamario is one away from the rail then so low, Clado Sierra the Grey Gatsby comes to the outside and Umgio is pulled deeper out from the Shawish and Trade Storm Euro Charlene in front of the 300 but so low letting down now, quickly moves up Solo runs to the lead from Earnshaw. The Grey Gatsby is running on, but Solo has pitched a break, and it is a winning break. The Dubai turf goes to France, and Solo walks it in. Solo first. The Grey Gatsby second, Monsieur Wish third. Then Euro Charlene, followed by Earnshaw, Clado Sierra. Um, Guillaume didn't go on with the effort, followed by Lamario Farage, and Trade Storm settled last, came in last of all. Well, Maxim Guillon celebrated. He was able to have a look at the big screen with about 150 metres left to run. And he knew he had it won. Solo has bolted him. The Grey Gatsby ran on, but was never going to close the gap. Monsieur Wish has done a big job to run third after all of the troubles. And Euro Charlene battled on after leading. 
As we wait for the numbers to go up, the time is 147.46. It's outside of just a ways record. Ten solo, Maxine Guion first. Number six, the Grey Gatsby, written by Ryan Moore, has run second. Number three, Michelle Wish, Frankie de Tory is third. Euro Charlene hung on and ran fourth. Earnshaw was fifth. And Clado Sierra has run six. Six, three, one, four, and eight. Well, he came into the race with a reputation, a little like Just Away did last year. He hasn't won quite as spectacularly as the Japanese horse did, but he still has won in very, very decisive fashion. Four and a quarter lengths, three quarters and a half. Four and a quarter lengths, three quarters and a half length. And the time, 1.47.76. Maxime Guillon celebrating, had plenty of time to do it. He'll tell Zoe all about it. So how was your trip? Thank you so much. It's uh, unbelievable, you know. Before the race, we know I ride a very good horse, but we never know what's happened. So he jumped really good after it's very easy to ride because he don't pull. You can do everyone, so he, he went very easy tonight. Is this a great feeling, not only for you, but also for Freddie Head getting his first win on Dubai World Cup night? Yeah, exactly. It's my first group, group one in Dubai, too, so I'm very happy. It's my new, new honor. It's the third group one with him together, so I'm very happy, and uh, this is the very good off. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you so much. Well, I'm getting a little bit hungry, and I think that some humble pie is coming our way, Pat. <laughs> the hype was right. We were wrong. I didn't beg you for a comedian, Laura. I know. I'm on form tonight. No, this well, is absolutely trounced yeah. them, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely, and uh, all the hype was right. Uh, it doesn't always happen that way. Four and a quarter lengths, the margin. And I, I don't want to, you know, I know I, we were both very keen on the Grey Gatsby, but it, you Grey have to Gatsby talk about what happened keen, at the start. No. Um, I'm told um, via Twitter that he did do that before the, the, the Prix de Jockey Club. He yeah. hasn't not done it before. So that, you know, might not have been such a concern for Kevin Ryan as it, as it was for us. He's run his race, I think, but this horse is, is an up-and-comer. And I say he's absolutely dotted up. It was a really good performance. Clara Kerr travelled very nicely. I thought she was going to have a bigger say than she did. Uh, she's only finished sixth there, the other French trainee. Great run uh, from Nashawish there in, in third. Stone bruise, not an issue. Phenomenal. Uh, run third. Six hundred thousand dollars. That's superb for Mishawish. Mm -hmm. Another American train placer on uh, on World Cup Boat night on grass. Well for main sequence, doesn't it? It does. Absolutely. It what does. a great celebration that is from Maxime Guion. It's his um, first uh, Group One winner in, here in Dubai. He's had a winner here before. Tell you what. Freddie Head, though, is his first win here in, in, in Dubai. I'm quite surprised by that. At the the French based jockey celebrations have been superb tonight, haven't they? Uh, yeah, Maxime good and Christophe. From Christophe. Uh, Nicole look, Barcelona, of course, wrote the, the textbook on these. And there is just no... I mean, look look at this gallop out. Uh, just gobbling up the ground here on the gallop out. Phenomenal look from Solo. Mm. Uh, and doesn't look like he'd blow out a candle at the moment. No, he doesn't. And um, he's very interesting because, as, as Freddie had said earlier on this week, there is Freddie to the... Is that Freddie? It might no, not be Freddie. I don't think no, so. it isn't. Similar height. Anyway, as Freddie said earlier on th this week, this horse is, is bred to... Um, stay a, a mile and a half. He's, he's by Singsbill and his damn high maintenance won by one over a mile seven. Anyway, we can hear from Winning Connections with Steve. Your first winner in Dubai, Freddie, and what a way to do it. I love, I love the place and uh, I'm very, very happy, very thrilled. You saw the world's best performance in this race last year. Do you think we have again? I think he's a real good horse, real champion. First time in a group one. But uh, the way he does it, I mean, he's a, he's a champion. For now. He can quicken, he can do anything. You must have uh, world domination plans with him now, you think? Well, we see. We'll see where, where we go now, and uh, we'll come back next year. <laughs> well done. Freddie, you said you'd never read Dubai. Well, he said before this was the best chance he'd ever had here in Dubai, Freddie, and he's certainly been right, and you know, he obviously thinks he's a very good horse. This, I think, Pat, is a horse who can go on and... Well, I mean, they might decide that something like the, the, the Queen Anne is, is, is a race for him, but he could go on and go back up to 2,000 metres and go around the international circuit. 
perhaps. Well, for sure. Uh, and we know Freddie, Freddie loves the Breeders' Cup Mile as well, mm-hmm. which might be a, uh, a goal there. You know, I think what's promising about this, though, is that they're here in the first place. And Freddie hasn't had many starters. First winner, but hasn't had many starters here. I think it's a good sign that they've come out, that they brought this horse uh, and, and kind of took a crack here. It's really the rest of the year. You beat a horse rated 127 like the Grey Gatsby was by four and a quarter lengths. I don't care how crazy he looked at the barrier. That's a top, top shelf performance. It really is. He's going to have a say in the world rankings, you think, Solo, who's bred by his owners, the Wertheimer brothers. It's their seven here in, in Dubai, and he's now won eight of his... Uh, 13 races. How many more would he have won if he'd raced at a mile his whole yeah, career or a sure. mile, and, mile and a bit? And, and you alluded to it. Uh, horse racing, such a wacky business and, and, and can the highs and lows. Masha wished to run third just flat out. That was superb. Uh, but look, Wertheimer brothers uh, all over the world. The color is probably most uh, famous for Goldakova. Just phenomenal to watch them in the Breeders' Cups and yeah, Arc Weekends. This one went and, on to the Breeders' Cup, yeah. didn't it? It's a beautiful. Ran beautiful second in the race last year with Anno Dan, did Freddie Head. Of course, yeah. yes. And he did say that he'd worked this horse with Anna Dan. Oh, um, there you go. And thought, wow, he's such a good horse. He's able to keep pace with these good milers, but he's bred for Verda, hence they persevered with the... Um, the, the, the staying races. I mean, in May 2014, he ran over 3,100 meters. <laughs> then they dropped him back to 1,800 meters, and he's won every race since. Well, it-